Hello, welcome to another episode of, I keep calling them episodes, but learn something new. So this one isn't meant for kids, but again, you can tailor this for kids. This is actually going to be a really simple um, session. Uh, we're going to do another zine making one. This is the third to the third part zine making uh, series, I suppose. Um, yeah, this is going to be super simple, um, but it's just because uh, with my little words from the pot for the theme, it could be something a little bit inappropriate for kids. So, take the idea, do it with them. Anyway, let's get on with it. So, this session, we are just really going to be folding some paper, but I'm going to show you a few other uh, ideas. So, we're going to make, be making something super simple like this, so that you can do something that goes across the whole thing if you wanted to. Um, or keep it like a little book that you read like this and then you can read back to front. Um, we're going to make a few of these and then I'm going to show you how to put them together like this with a little belly band. So we're going to be making one of them as well. So what you'll need for this session is A4 paper. If you do have any A3 you could actually make one that goes a little bit longer um, I'm going to show you two ways of making this as well, the snake and uh, a long one, and also maybe how to bind it. So let's get cracking on. Okay, so to make your very basic concertina like this, very simple, um, so I'm going to make two separate ones on this A4 sheet of paper. Again, I'm using this holy paper, um, not for anything in particular, it's just because I don't have any other paper. Um, but by all means, use whatever you've got. Coloured paper's really good. Okay, so I'm just going to fold that in half, and that's actually where we're going to be cutting it. But while I've got this all in one piece, I can do a quick fold so that when I cut it, everything's already folded up. So you're going to want to fold it that way, spin it around, grab the edge and fold it the other way. Like that. And then turn it over and do the same on the other side. I don't know why my voice has gone a bit crackly. There you go. Good thing is to hold it in the middle and then work outwards from that. Okay, so I'm just going to flatten this out again. Now I'm going to grab my scissors. You could use a scalpel and um, a ruler to do it. Or if you happen to have a guillotine or anything like that, then that's a really good way of doing it. I'm just going to make this kind of rough, uh, but you spend as much time as you want on it. And there you go, you've got two very simple concertinas. There we go, so you've got a book that can open like this, one little secret thing at the back, or you could even do one long thing that you can fold up, so we'll do that in a second. Um, I'm going to show you very briefly what to do if you wanted to put them together. Now there's a few different ways of doing this, but if you wanted to keep it this size so that it matches um, the zines from last time, See, so they're kind of the same size, so you could put them all together and make a little, um, like a belly bound series of zines basically. But if you want to, yeah, so if you want to keep them the same size, what I would do is kind of do the same on this piece of paper again. So I'm going to fold this in half. So what I'm showing you here is how to attach those two pieces together to make one long strip basically. Okay, so by folding that you've now got it the same size as these two. So I am not going to cut up the whole thing, I'm just going to cut a section, maybe about this big. You can be a lot more precise, um, you know, get your ruler out and um, measure and stuff like that, but I'm just going to do it really roughly for now. So what I'm going to do first is fold this in half. I've got a little 
little strip there. And I'm just going to neaten it up. Okay, nice and neat. Um, what I would usually do is use PVA for this. Um, I use a, like a non acidic one um, just so it doesn't discolour over time. But I'm just going to use Prit Stick here, uh, which is just a little bit quicker. What I've done here is flip these over, so this is actually going to be on the back of the book, not the main um, part of it. Okay, I'm just going to kind of place them together like that. Glue on the back side of it. Oh, that's my lid. If I was putting PVA on this, um, a really good method of doing it is to pour out a little bit of your PVA and then use a baster I mean you can get proper book making tools um, but a baster will work just fine if you want to put the PVA up on um, and you just sort of dab it dab it onto the back of it and that's a really good way of doing it if you want to make so what I've done is I've stuck that half on there I've spun it over and I'm just going to line that up and stick it on. Again, this is really rough. You can spend a lot more time on this. Um, PVA, I do like I, um, I do like Pritt Stick, but if you're making this, you know, maybe to sell or something, then I probably would use PVA. And I'll just show you... Um, well, I don't have my base stuff, that's that. Uh, but yeah, just a basting brush, like for, for cooking. Okay, so there we go. So that is, you might want to wait for it to dry, but just because we're, I'm doing it with you guys, I'm just going to go straight ahead. And there you go. We've got a long concertina. And of course, you will have this raised bit on the other side. But um, what you could do is you could collage over it. So there you go. You've got a really long concertina. Ta-da! Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to make a belly band. So what I want to do for this is I want to put my zine from last time with this one. So that they form one whole thing. Okay, so for the belly band, you are going to need something that's the length of that, the length of the other side, plus a little bit extra, and you're going to want to corner off these sides here. So you could measure bits out for this um, if you want to make it really precise, but I'm just going to show you a very quick way of doing it. So I'm going to use the top of another A4 sheet of paper. So kind of whatever size you want it. You could do the whole size of the book if you wanted. I'm going to do quite a thick one because I want to um, put my stamps on it. A good idea as well would be to maybe use um, some sort of card for this, just so it's a bit sturdier. And you know you don't have to use a belly band, you could put them together with um, paper clips or elastic bands, and um, you can get some really cool elastic bands that kind of make a cross out there as well. So I am going to do a bit of folding with this. Um, so. I kind of want to have the join sort of in the middle of the back here, so, I mean this is the front but you can turn it around afterwards, so I'm just going to kind of see, okay, not quite the middle, so I'll just move it over a bit, just see the size, yeah, okay, so I'm going to cut this down a little bit. And you can do this a number of different ways. I've got one of these bone folders, so I'm going to use this to just mark out the edges of here. Okay. So you could do this with a pencil or a pen, just because I want to fold these in on each other. 
Again, you don't even need to do this. You could just go straight in for um, holding them together. But I'm going to make it so it's got a little raised bit on the other side. Not too big, so I'm going to get my bone folder again. Um, the best way to do this would be to get a ruler and do it. I'm just going to go in. Do it on this side as well. And that just helps it fold a little bit. If you wanted to do that really, spend some time on it, get a ruler, measure out on both sides so that they're the same sides, same size. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go in for the sake of doing it. Okay, there we go. So the best way that I found to do this is to get my zine, put it in but then get some paper and put it underneath there. So, I actually don't have any. <laughs> I'm just gonna get this little folded bit. Little folded bit, there we go. And I'm just gonna put it in here. And this is just so when we're gluing, you don't get glue on your zine. So uh, again, I'm just going to use Crit Stick, but if you want to make it something a little bit more solid, then by all means, get that PVA out. And I'm just going to go in. Again, this isn't, these aren't supposed to be top tutorials on how to make the best thing ever. These are isolation tutorials for you to make some cool things out of what you have lying around at home. And there we go, there's the belly band. I have given this one a little bit of room, as you can see, I made these quite big, so that I can make a few more and put them in together. So even put in my other one from last time as well. Tight is good, you don't want to make them too tight, otherwise you won't be able to get the zines in and out very easily. There we are. Okay, so we've made our concertinas with the little belly band on. So let's have a look in the jar. Okay, changing the name a bit. <laughs> and let's pull out some words. I'm going to pull out two uh, because we made two separate little zines. Um, you may have, or you may have stuck it all together and made one, but I'm going to pick out two anyway. So I've got culture. Culture, that sounds really weird. Culture and journey. Okay, so you can use one of those maybe to inspire what you're making, or you could um, stick with the one from last time, which I'm going to do, which was lost time. So I'm going to take my belly band off, and I have my one really long one. So one of the great features about this is you could do something across the whole thing or you could just keep it like a book, like a little book. If you wanted to make something like this um, with some better quality paper, some thicker paper, um, or if you made it uh, into an A3 book or something, so you could get your sheet of A4 paper and do it in half like that and then keep making ones like that in the same fashion that we did this so you could end up making a concertina sketchbook like like that with that method okay so I'm only going to film a little bit of this just because I think um, from some feedback people are quite happy to kind of get on with it and then maybe tune in at the end and see what I've made or you know if you guys want to share yours so I'll go in for the beginning process of this um, but then, yeah, you guys put some music on and make something really cool. Okay, so lost time. I keep moving my zines everywhere. Okay, here we go, lost time. So I did quite like my circle one from last time. But I think I might even start with belly band, so. I don't know if anyone's ever used Posca pens, probably, if you're watching this, um, but they're really 
great. I love them. It might have been a good idea to make the belly band out of some coloured paper or, you know, like a different colour to your zine just so it stands out. You may not want to do that. I um, I only actually have one with a belly band. It's a bit loose because I've taken some of the zines out of it. But So for these ones I just used photocopier paper and it's a mixture of concertina zines and uh, the ones that we did last time, the fold out ones. And then this belly band is also just photocopier paper, but I write risographed. Everyone says that differently. Rizo, Rizo, Riso. I'm, I'm going to say risograph, but if I'm wrong, let me know. <laughs> um, and you know what? They've come out really good, so I, I think anyway. So some of them are on coloured paper. So even if you do something photocopy but put it on to colour coloured paper, it does change it quite a lot. Um, and altogether, I think they look quite aesthetic. And then with a very bright belly band. So yeah, maybe an idea. I'm just going to colour mine in. Let me know what you guys have to work with at home, maybe. What have you got lying around that you've been working with? Even if you don't want to share photos or anything like that, um, it'd be really cool to know how people are, um, you know, keeping creative or, or be, you know, just using a bit of that, that side of your brain to, um, to make stuff. Like, what are you making stuff with? Like, I actually don't have that much, considering um, what I do, because uh, at the moment I predominantly paint, but I've got a few bits and bobs. I really love stamps for stuff like this, so I'm going to use some stamps in my little cream egg box. And I'm just going to do this belly band and show you, I think, um, just how... I've only used two different materials. It's just quite easy to make something look kind of cool. Also, let me know what you listen to. Let me know what you're listening to while you're making stuff. I will put some music on in a bit. I don't know what I'm feeling like today, you know. I'm having a, a weird time with it. Um, huh, lost time, you could say. Um, been listening to Diggable planets um, and I'm not going to pretend like I've known them for ages. I just discovered it the other day um, through doing, I don't know if anyone's been doing it, but the Fate Flyer Society posters. If you haven't checked them out and you really enjoy making flyers or, or it's something you haven't done before but you really enjoy music, um, then definitely check them out. They're Fake Flyer Society on Instagram um, and they're doing um, they're putting out briefs uh, to give you some ideas for things to make and that's quite cool because it's giving me a chance to think about position. It's I, I used to really love making posters but I haven't done it for ages and I also never used to do it digitally. Digitally. Digital champion. Okay, so really simple. All I've used is all I've used is a Posca pen and some stamps and already oh, see this is why you don't want to make it too tight already you've got something that's looking kind of okay so I'm gonna leave it there for now um, you guys have fun with it let me know what you make again if 
um, I'll, I'll probably say this at the end, well I won't say it now because I'm saying it now, um, if you do want me to kind of stay here and work while you're working, let me know. If that's helpful for some of you, I'm happy to keep it recording um, so that you can have some company if you are completely on your own. But if you are someone that just skips it, that's absolutely fine. Just let me know. Um, I keep saying it, but really these are for you. So whatever's best for you, I'm, I'm happy to do. Okay, so I'll see you at the end once I've made this into something cool. Okay, here we go. I've made mine. Uh, made it. <laughs> well, actually, I still haven't stamped the back of it, but this is basically what I've got. So, I'm going to put them together just to show you from start to finish what I've made. I'm also more excited to see what you guys have made, so please do share. So, all together, hopefully you can see this, kind of looks like that, with the belly band, back, front. And then I'm just going to show you the concertina one that I've made. So I decided to make mine as a long strip, so you can see there, in the back. And you can see it kind of goes through a story. I think you can see, hopefully you can see. So each page goes through a little bit of a story. Turns around, goes through a story at the back. So I just tried to do this really quickly. I think I did this in about 10 minutes. And if you pull the whole thing out, it makes one long story that joins up with each other. And there we go, so something so simple, you can make really quickly um, and then you can put them all together and make a little collection. They're kind of good to make as well if you do want to make multiples and photocopy them, um, quite a good thing to do. But yeah, so that's what I've made, let me know what you've made. Um, this is going to be the last one for the three part zine. Uh, series, but if anybody wants me to go through some other zine making, uh, if you want me to do some book binding, stuff like that, let me know. Uh, I'm gonna maybe do some printing in the next one. Um, so, yeah, some more kids, on, kids, kids ones coming up as well. Alright, hope you enjoyed it. Let me know, leave some feedback, and I'll see you next time.